Hello everybody and welcome back to Lost Souls. Today's episode, well let's have a look what I've been doing. I've done a few things. Um, like for example I've made 64 draconian co draconic cores, takes a while, and I made 12 wyvern cores too so we can upgrade those uh, injectors. That's the purpose of those. I uh, also made a stone hammer. Funny this one actually. This is with a sort of a saver. So if we look at the uses of this one if you take a piece of charcoal and you bash it with this hammer and you get tiny charcoal and the use of char tiny charcoal is basically um, phytogrow so you're using basically you get eight now charcoal is not normally expensive but in this pack it's actually a bit of a pain let's look at the recipe for this one right you can craft ash cloud and blocks of charcoal and blocks of charcoal so you're basically doing that, or you can make eight tiny charcoal into charcoal, which of course is not much use. Smelt it. So you can smelt wood, certain types of wood, but I was trying this. But maybe it's not all wood you can do. Most, well, I, maybe wood will do, it, but not all of the wood. You can put it in a kiln. So you can put spruce wood in a kiln, uh, and that way that'll also make charcoal. And the way I was actually doing it, I was doing it in a coke oven. So that's putting wood in the coke oven and you can see you've got the normal woods in here, the, the vanilla woods like oak, spruce and whatever. So since we've got tons of oak and tons of spruce, it actually was the way I was doing it. But it's slow, it's also in the nether so it takes quite a long time. So I wanted to maximise that, so I built that for that purposes. Um, basically that was that. I've also set up, some, I've got some stuff here prepared. These firing nether bricks. I'm not sure that'll work or not. Um, we shall find out. And I've got some Restonia crystal block and uh, Palace crystal block. And what I want to do with these is I want to put these into and uh, get them empowered because that's actually some quest we haven't actually completed yet. Well, at least I haven't. So let's do that first. I think maybe the first thing I should do is get up, set up this these injectors to do that because they're going to take a little bit of time and they've got probably quite a bit of power so let's have a look at what we've got to do for the injectors i don't think i've got it written there have i spelt that right oh, yes yeah, there we go so we need one wyvern called two draconian cores one block of uh draconic block Draconian block and four nether stars. Now, for each one of these, so that's quite a lot and two million RF. So, <laughs> but fortunately, I did go back to the nether and I also made some more nether stars. Ah, got the wither grinders going again, which is quite nice because it gives us a reasonable amount of these things. I trust I got a stack, yes, I did. Draconian blocks, I forgot that, it's got 62. So, we're well on the way for being able to do this one. And we actually need to make 12 of these things. So what I'm going to do with this, so we need four weather stars in each one of these, don't we? So we'll have to remove this out of the way. I shift left drag that on that. We'll need one of these, of course, to upgrade the thing. We need one wyvern core and two draconium core, draconic cores to do this one. So we'll put that in there. So we'll get this on this side here. And then we need a block of draconium as well. So that will give us four which are free. So we can actually take, I think we can remove two at a time, I think. Which perhaps I'll use this one. Since it's my favourite pickaxe. Ooh, it takes a lot of breaking, doesn't it? So let's put those two into the top of here like that, wherever they've gone to. And whatever missing. <laughs> I must be missing something or other. Well, I... Oh, I haven't put the, the block in, have I? That's uh, the one thing I am missing. Try again. Still not right, what's wrong? 
fusion crafting. Oops. Oh, got three. Ah, that's a problem. I must have put the other ones in there by accident. Okay, good. So I can now start this. In fact, I should be able to put this one in here as well. Like that. Click start. Oh, actually, that's going very fast. I didn't expect it to go that fast. <laughs> In which case I will do these off camera since it's relatively painless. Huh. Okay. So it is relatively painless. Let's put this one down here. I should be able to right click it on here too. And if you right click it on that, try that one. So there's our first upgraded core, cool, fantastic. Okay, let's do let's do another one of these. So one of those. I need four of these. Let's just do the the bits first of all. One of those. Two of these. I suppose it doesn't matter. I can put this one in here. It does say basic crafting. Might not work. We'll find out. And four another stars. I don't really want them going into that, do I? So let's just remove those out of here like that. So now you must be able to do it that way, otherwise it wouldn't make sense, would it? Yes, exactly. Make such good noises, these things. But it wasn't actually too difficult for me to do the draconian quilts because I've got all that process set up in the nether. And right, I'll do the rest. Of, I'll do the rest of these off camera. I've got all that process set up in the nether to make um, supremium essence and superior essence and the uh, inter intermediate essence. I think that's the one it's called. Prudentium essence. So that process is what I use to make these uh, draconic quilts. So. That went fairly straightforward. It just took eight stacks of each and made 64. Quite a lot, but uh, it's been working for quite a long time. Now, here's, an, here's a trick. Oh, this is from the Neil Wiz 01 UK. Gave me this trick. trick. What we've got here is we look at this tank here. And I should be able to shift right click. Oh, hold, yeah, let's hold the shift on it. So this is liquid essence of knowledge. And on this side here, I've got liquid experience so liquid experience is coming from the mobs what we need to do to convert this stuff across is to use a tomb of knowledge so i've basically set up this so the tomb of knowledge will shift activate this block with the item here right clicking it and then when it's not full it should get exported out of here i think that was one hit one tag we'll see in a minute anyway and that should get exported out and come into here so then it's going to activate this block with this one and then from this one when it's a full a full book it should go across i'm not 100 percent sure it's going to work exactly as we want it so what i can do here is i can put a pipe hardened fluid up down on this slice and that will connect up to there so that's the that's the source if you like which is coming from here so this is filling up this tank actually fairly slowly so all i need to do now is because this is full is to activate this let's just turn this on and that goes down. Whoa. Right, as you can see, that's just working just fine. So let's have a look in here. Ah. Well, it should be. Maybe I have to change this when it gets to empty. Because obviously it's getting pulled out of here too. So when it's empty, which it is now, take that out of here and that, let's put this one into here instead of that one. And then 
right click let's just put this in here so then it should go out and it should start to right click this ha huh. I can hear it right clicking but it's not filling it up and this is one of the problems I've found if I'm trying to do a drum it doesn't work but if I remove the drum let's take the big axe and I'll use this my favorite. actually I should just pray R shouldn't I after setting up all my things it would be a sensible thing to press R in here I can't do it from this of course because I have to get to it outside and get my big axe in the right place so let's break this out of the way I've got a magnet with me at the moment it's in thing I will use a singularity tank here because it does work with singularity tanks but it's not working on the drums so this is getting filled up and hopefully <laughs> let's press shift on this this should go up slowly it is it's going up slowly and as you can see this should still keep going up even though it's sort of jumping around a lot what I can of course do here mm. is to put a drum in the between these two so we could feed a drum and the drum could feed the tank here that might be better let's just try that it will yeah I can do it like this for the time being let's just see if this works that's going to feed this up now from the top as well as this this tank should go down so if we right click this we should see this is going should be going down like that and eventually this book should get filled up yes it's going up a hundred at a time <laughs> strangely enough so in a few seconds this should go across I'll wait for it because it's sort of I'm curious to be honest with you see if it actually goes across and if it does go across then the process will start again and sort of shift right click this onto that I don't know if there's a better way of doing this if anybody knows do tell hopefully it has to be because it's going up 100 so I'm just wondering if it's going to get that last 40 nearly finished I thought this now so yeah sure enough it worked so the process has started again and this will be slowly going down oh, that's fine don't really mind we got too much we got this and then we can feed this into these machines so this one then would make this redundant it's actually quite noisy so what I want to do here is to make let's have a look at these things here let's have a look at the uses of this one Restonia crystal so the one we do want to do is the empowerer so we need a brick another brick redstone bricks and red dye and I should have all of that with us so let's have a look so in the middle goes the block and then we need red dye which you can put into here like that I've got a brick so these are the two things I need oh there's one piece of redstone I'm missing on I a piece of redstone that's what I need missing I'm not sure whether this will work if I have another brick because it's not a nether brick so because it's not another brick it might not work let's take one of these out of here and even two so that's the last one so that isn't working so it's probably this then let's remove this out of here and go and get a nether brick now nether bricks we make nether bricks how do we make nether bricks they're actually strangely enough we've got oh where is it now I've got a nether brick here and I will go to use the quartz Gallagher on this so we can basically it does matter so I think it has to be there and then we can get straightforward nether bricks like that the difference between the f that is just the fiery part of it so this should now with this one work oh what have I done wrong 
Let me check that recipe because that I did put the right brick in, didn't I? Oh no, I didn't, did I? Put the wrong one in. <laughs> yeah, another brick. That's still not working. What have I got wrong here? This one. A brick, red dye, redstone, and another brick. I'm sure I've got. Oh, it's. Ah, okay. I didn't see that. So now I've got some empowered uh, Restonia crystal. <laughs> right. And the other one to do is this one here, this palace crystal. Let's do this one as well. So this is but three of these prismarine shards. In fact, I could actually do it this way, of course, couldn't I? I don't need to do it that way. If I'm only making one, it makes sense to do it this way. And the last bit was the die here. But because it, you can do it in the inventory, and that actually also works good. So, I'll take those two out, and then that will actually complete, I think, two quests. It's taking a long time. There's no progress bar on this, is the, so you can't see it's how it's progressing, but it shouldn't take too long. There we go. I think that's two quests. Let's have a look. I think that's extra additions. Oh, I've got to break these into into blocks. And the last one I haven't done was void. So let's have a look at that one then. Let's get rid of these two quests yeah. empowered Estonia let's go back get that let's claim that quest because they're both done now of course there'll be loot chess powered palace yes of course Let's have a look at these loot chests. Experience. Actually, that's a, an experience. Chunk. Actually, that's a reasonably good reward for a change. Because with that one, we don't need experience, obviously not. But the uses of this is you can make an experience seed, a uh, tier four. So that is actually a surprisingly good reward, uh, and it's a ten percent drop chance. Well, I haven't got any yet, so. So it's a very good reward in that respect. Hmm, interesting. But, and then we got some, oh, actually, that's not a bad one either. Six chance clubes and a prosperity shard. Let's go and, uh, six prosperity shards, sorry, let's go and sort those out. So in the bottom one here, I've got my chance stuff, and this is the creative chance pendant, which of course was never designed for this. Let's take these six chance cubes. Oh, I'll do it from here, don't I? Put those in there, set the, increase that to 100 and set the chance. So these now, if we look at those, chance value is 100, which I think means you're guaranteed to get something good. So let's put those away. And of course, you stack with those other ones as well, so that's good too. And we can put that away as well. So mystical agriculture, let's put these prosperity shards in there. Get rid of anything else we've got on us that we don't want. And I've probably put these away somewhere as well. I think I'll put these in the mystical agriculture, at least the these four, because they are quite uh, rare and therefore valuable. And the rest of the stuff I'll just put in here. I've got a better place for this, but I don't know why I'm doing anything with the experience essence. <laughs> it's ha happily chunking away, isn't it? <laughs> Let's have a look at how full this has got to. It's full. So that should then... Ah, it'll carry on forever, won't it? Because <laughs> it's going up and down all the time. And I don't think there's a way to make this one way, but we can always turn it off. 
if I right click in this so it then gets activated with the redstone signal being on that would be better actually that filled that up very fast didn't it so thank you very much for that tip it's a good one next thing let's have a look at some more of these quests I w the, the next episode I'm going to go back to the um, Twilight Forest by the way and we'll do the next of the bosses I've not tested that but something to test isn't it so let's have a look at these quests. So what I want to do is the, the draconium stuff, really. In fact, I actually completed a quest by accident. I picked something up. In fact, what did I pick up? I think it was in Overpowered. Yes, I picked up the draconic chest that we got. And I got the reward for it just by picking it up. Uh, so I didn't have to craft that one. In fact, it might even work. No, it can't do, can it? Because I didn't get the egg from the other one. So now, oh, I've got to hand in. How many of these have I got? It should tell me. Do I completed any? No. Ah, oh, so whatever. Nuisance. That means I've got a. It didn't count these two that I've done in here. So I've got to basically do them all, and then we'll claim that at the end of next episode I think or at least at the beginning of the next episode so let's look at this these chests and see the ones aren't weren't too bad rending gale which is actually classed as epic it's a form of flight I should think I've showed that already you feed it with feathers and there you can fly so let's get rid of some of the stuff I've got on it because I've got too much stuff already as you can see Firing other bricks and other bricks. Oh yes, I know what I want to do next. There's one thing we haven't completed, and that. Oh, I made a battery as well, by the way. I made a, a quadruple battery. I was looking at that then and just saw it, because here I've got this quadruple battery and I filled it up with. Because um, this one will power the ring of uh, magnetism. If we can pick this down here like this, put this down here. When it's activated, this will get filled up. So we've always got a reasonably good amount, of, a reasonable amount of power. That's one million RF in here, and I can charge this up extremely fast because on top of this one here, uh, this one, I put the flux point. So all I need to do now is simply push this battery into there. See, it's got five hundred, five thousand or so to go. Boom, and it's done like that. So none of this waiting for stuff to get charged up. It fills up very fast. I want to get rid of this Rustonia crystals and Palin crystals out there as well. Since this is a crafting only, only used for crafting, we'll put it in here as, as well. That's that one. I need to go back to the nether. I think I'm, what I want to do is move my, most of my nether stuff over here. What I want to do now is the next thing I want to do is the astral sorcery thing. So let's get a look at that one. Oh yes, I was telling you about this one, wasn't I? this phantom energy face now everything legit gamer tells me about this one if we put this we can double our power so if we make two of these so we've got to make two of these so that's just okay we can do that actually i think we've got almost everything we need maybe i have to make some more diamond time crystals oh yes i was going to do this one as well this is this is the ring of night vision which might be quite useful because what I was thinking about doing because I haven't got night vision on this armor here there was two things I could either do a book now I set off to craft a book let's have a look I should have a book with me should have maybe I put it away somewhere but in here which one is it this one the arcane and scroll are here you've got recipes now not all of these recipes are correct and this one here it says an arrow in a book will give you night vision it doesn't it gives you multi-shot so be careful of that one <laughs> I ended up creating a multi-shot one bow not that useful not that it matters that very, very much for a book and I couldn't find one at all but eventually I did find one in from a mob that I'd crowned um, in the nether in that in that chest there I've got to 
a book with night vision on it so I thought I could use that but let's make this one instead so we needed four golden carrots Oops. the recipe for those just nuggets around the carrot nothing special there uh, empowered diamonding block which we need to make another one a ring which is fairly straightforward it's just glowstone gold and a, uh, iron and that pattern makes the ring where's it gone to can actually do it here, Starlight Infusion. Okay, can we carry it from Starlight Infusion? <laughs> Probably, maybe that's more expensive. Oh, there is something else we can make as well, and that was a seed. So that's just awkward potions, so that's just nether wart and that. So let's take this out of here. Now it needs charging up, it says blaze stored. I wonder if this is blaze powder or blaze rods. I've never used this one. How do I get this into here? I guess what we have to do is shift right click this. Nope. I can't shift right click it or if I can it's not doing what I'm expecting it to do how do I get this filled up tell you what let's drop those on the floor nope well I'm gonna have to look the one up aren't I they have got a book so we could do it that way uh, actual editions book I don't know that I've got it with me or whether it's put in the nether if it's in the nether I'm gonna have to leave it for another time so I've got another block of diamonding crystal here, which is also good because we don't have to make that. So we can split this up into these. Now, so the phantom faces, it takes a standard phantom face, redstone face, which is this one. So we've got four, eight and the post, two of those, one chest and these. So I've got to make these. So we need full, how many do we need? Two, I think. I don't want to use all of this though because if I push it, yeah, that's fine. Push it out of the way. So then we got nuggets, just we got plenty of those. Let's use it for that one. Oh, okay, wrong way. And I've got two of those, so we should be able to make this. I need some ender pearls, we need eight ender pearls. that into here like this make two of those blocks so we should be able to make these oh chests I think I've got chests yes I have good so that's the face done and then the energy face is like this oh, there's only crystal I've put into here so we'll need eight of those like that we also need a plug I think it's a plug we use or I'm not exactly sure which one to be honest with you. Uh, I want I don't think it's the plug it uh, is it's the plug one not the point so I got the materials with me I need some flux nope I don't have flux in there I've probably got flux in here actually There are a few more things I want to make as well. Um, and that's I want to do the complete some more of this stuff for uh, environmental tech. Especially I want to make a resort a void resource miner. That would be a useful thing to do. Um, don't know how to use that yet. I wish it told me. So press control it doesn't give me anything at all, does it? No. Okay. I wonder if it's blaze powders it uses. Let's just try that. I don't have to get them in, to be honest with you. Maybe you have to craft them in. Let's try that as a, as a solution as well. 20 blaze stored. So it is blaze powder. Okay, so you have to keep doing this, do you? That's a bit of a. <laughs> that seems like a, a slow way of doing this. There must be a better way. So now what happens? 
Well, I presume it just goes on. Is it going to? Oh, it's going down. And there, it doesn't go down. So when it's in the hot bar, it's on, and when it's not in the hot bar, it's off. That's fine. That will do. Because we don't need night vision all the time. In fact, sometimes it's useful not to have night vision. So that's why I don't like putting it on the helmet so much. Anyway, let's get on and do our power, our point. So what do I need? I need some flux, I think. What have we got here? Ash pile. Oh, I've got two of these already. Oh, block of ender pearls already. Why not got any flux in there? Hard to believe. I don't see any in here either. I've got some more experienced chunks in there too. Right, let's look at the uses of that one. I think the one we have to make is this one. So we need the flux block. So we do need flux. So I only need five. I'm only gonna I'm only gonna do five. Let's turn this on. There is another trick I didn't show last time when I was looking at this. If I hold down the Alt key and then press click it, let's go in. I have to go here, don't I? Alt key and click this. It should. Oops. Oh, of course, I've got the bag with me. So if you do Alt, it should click it. It should basically put it out. So you can do it with Q, of course. Turn that off. So now. So five will be on the corners, won't it, like this. In fact, is it like that? Oops, missed, try again. Yep, exactly. So with this flux point, we should be able to connect that. I think this is the way it works. To be honest with you, I'm not 100% sure. It's something I'm going to have to try anyway. So we could easily put the flux point onto here. Mm, yes, I'll do that. We'll do it on the other face. So what I need is the tool, the smart wrench. I'll set this face to being, oh no, we can do it on these ones actually. So right click that, it becomes an output face and that as well. And then, oh, actually no, I want to do it on this one, don't I? Okay, so let's put the let's put the phantom face on this one here, and then what you can do is what I understand is you can put these faces onto here like this. They connect across, and I presume that they're connecting across. So let's just connect. Let's just configure this thing, make sure it's working. I don't know how to prove this to be honest with you, but it was a it was a, a video that. Uh, was in the pre I think it was linked in the previous but one episodes. So what I'm looking for is the configurator tool. Which is here, flux configurator. So we just right click this now. And then that should be isn't connected to anything. It's only got a range of sixteen blocks. Okay. I'll tell you what we'll do. Maybe we can how do we connect these things together? And let's get rid of this. I don't want that in. Don't like that particle effect very much. <laughs> so how do I link this together? It must have a wrench of some description. There is one wrench for actually additions, which is a laser wrench. I wonder if that works. Shift right click it. Oh no, I don't think that's going to work that way. For me, I'm going to have to look up. So that's still basically taking stuff out of there. Hmm. I don't know. You can. I'll look it up, or you can. T <coughs> Excuse me. Or you can tell tell me whichever. Sorry about that. So now. a disjointed episode this one isn't it but there are things you always need to cover so let's have a look at the quests again and probably also should make a binder as well oh, so I have to make some crystal relays for doing this is that probably a quest 
It's a quest for doing crystal relays. Maybe not. Okay, so I can't do that at the moment. Well, I can do that, but what I wanted to do was, yes, sorry, I know exactly what I wanted to do. I wanted to finish the last quest off, didn't I, on um, Astral Sorcery. So let's have a look at that one. And what I wanted to do was make the Transformer, which we not Starlight Infuser we've done already. Ritual Pedestal, which I'm not sure what we use it for. Um, I think it's called an infuser. Let's do it like that. I didn't see it. And let's get rid of. Oh, here we go. No fast. Ah, uh, transmutator, isn't it? difficult to seeing this as well um, yes this is what we need to use this is what we need to make so the recipe for that one with smelting yes we can no I don't want that I want the recipe for this one so transmutation so that should be made on a oh, okay a lens or a prisma lens so let's look at that one so two ruin what's that jungle it's just any form of planks just logs okay gold and three lenses three lenses are glass panes in the starlight infusion okay that's probably the best one to do because we've got a reasonable amount of that or we can do it with an aquamarine probably aquamarine is good as well so we need that one makes four to make one well, glass panes aren't exactly expensive are they so let's look at that and I've got lots of them so we need 12 of these not to make those we need some aquamarine I probably got that with me or not if it isn't that's in here take that with us. What else do we need? Gold. I'm just moving these things out of the way so I don't get too much of a cluttered, cluttered inventory. Um, if I shift right click that, it'll take the gold away but I think that's all isn't it? What I actually need. Yep. Um, what else do we need? We can actually have a look now, see if the night vision is working on this one. Oh, indeed it does, look at that. Well, I don't need it for the time being. How long does that last for? Oh, it lasts for 12 seconds or so, okay. It might not be the best way to do night vision. What I probably might do is just make a second helmet and put the enchantment on that one. So, right. Let's double check that lens again. There's two. In fact, we could do either of these two. This one just requires star metal dust, rock crystal, two ac oh, is resonating gems, two pieces of gold. This one might be better. So two pieces, of, two gems. Of course, we got the buckets here. That's no big deal. So that's fine. I'm just double checking. I've got everything I need. I don't want to go over there and find out I haven't. I guess this is the best one to use. So this wants one rock crystal and some logs. Let's take some logs. I'm not sure it'll work with oak. Um, this is what we got here. That's dark oak wood. That might well work. Might it? Let's take four. And rock crystal. I think this is the rubbishy one here. Purity, 23%. I should really make I should really make some a seed for those, shouldn't I? Especially for that stuff. So let's go over there now. Of course, I've, I always figure out I've got one of these over here. Let's get this one going. Let's start that altar. 
Now, of course, I've got to try to remember this recipe. And <laughs> it's not that easy. So let's get out of here. There's four. I think there's four of these, and I've only got one. Great. So what's the recipe for this one? Can't ruined marble. I can't. It's not showing me the recipe for this one in this situation. So let's just take out marble arches. Oh, and let's take out some marble as well. Recipe for that one. I should be able to see the recipe for this now. Okay, so that's two pieces of marble and one chisel of marble in here. So we need, and that will make, we'll do four, I think. Can we do it like this? You know, I don't know if it's going to work or not. We'll see. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, it makes three. Okay, let's just do it once in that case. And have I got my wand with me? I hope so. If not, let's have good. So let's right click this. Three will be enough if the I made all of them, did it? Okay, fantastic. I actually didn't know that either. That's something else we've learned today. Well, I have anyway. So let's do, let's take those out of there. Chuck that over there, and then they the, should be picked up by the dank north, which is good. We don't need those. Oh, well, that didn't get picked up by the ah, because I took everything out of it, didn't I? Let's just shift that into there, then it is. And we only need four of these, I think. Let's put the rest of those there. Now, I don't know whether we've got enough time to do this like that. I think was one glass there and then these lenses we'll do these two aquamarines on that over there okay, let's do that Woo. oops not the dank null <laughs> good so that was the shift right clicking on that one put that back again like that pressing arm I think so just sort it out which is good so we needed two um, aquamarines And then we need to trigger this, don't we? Hopefully, and let's get make sure we've got a bucket ready. I don't need this with me. Just one bucket will be. Ta -da. <laughs> Have we lost any? We'll find out in a second. Nope, that's also okay. I should look away more, shouldn't I? Okay, that's good. And the next thing I need will be two glass panes. Right click that onto there and activate it. I'll get rid of this as well, don't need that with me. Oh, that's actually awesome, I like that. Starlight and Fuchsia is good, so. Well, last time I did this, really, we used a lot of the liquid starlight, and this time I haven't used any so far. Okay, good. It's probably not going to work now, because it's probably too late. Because I can't click that with that, I've got to click it with something else, haven't I? So. Where is the thing? Here. Okay, I think I'm trying to remember the pattern. You see, oh, I didn't bring any starlight dust with me. Brilliant. So if it, these two go here, I think, and gold goes on rock crystal, probably goes in the middle. That's <laughs> it's really hard to remember this stuff. It's a shame you can't shift click it in. Okay, the glass goes there. Okay. And those do go there. That's fine. I think that's correct. Let's just check that again. Obviously, this is the better one. So that's those, and the gold goes there, and the wood goes down there. I don't think I've done the wood. Ah, okay, the gold goes up there. And the wood goes. Just two pieces of wood, isn't there? So then I'm just missing those two pieces of dust, I think. 
let's just double double check this I think that's looking good actually some strange noises <laughs> right oh actually no let's do that the easy way I thought there wouldn't be spawning around here because I've got that but never mind so let's go to the old world base and pick up that starlight dust probably left it in here yes I have Ah yes, yeah, so that's telling me how far I've got to go. So I've got to wait quite a long time before I can make this. By the looks of it, I don't think I want to make any more of these, but they certainly are working, as you can see. So, I'll tell you what, I've done forty minutes. I'll come back in a minute when this is done. Well, in a few seconds, it's going to be coming up to the right level. While I was looking at that, while I was waiting for this, I saw, I saw the phantom face, and I was looking at it, and I was going, "Okay, do we right-click this one here?" I actually take you to the manual, so you can still click the manual, even though I've not got one with us. So you can then create a. Sh I think I probably have to use this phantom connect door. Well, I'll, between episodes, I'll play with that, see if it works. So it gives us information. I didn't know you had to. You could get to the book without the book, so to speak. So anyway, a bit like the quest book, you can get to the quest book without the book. So we'll look how we're doing now. It's coming up fairly fast, so it won't be very long before we can actually make this thing. Actually, it's coming a bit slower than I thought it was, but uh, it won't be too long. So I've got a bit of work to do between episodes. I want to see if I can figure, figure this one out as well. Actually, let's have a look at this one as well. I'm looking at this one. Um, uses of, if I do the uses of this one, it should, or the recipe. No, it doesn't work that way. <laughs> uses. Oh, we can make it into an advanced ring of nuts. Presumably, it uses less. So, potion rings can permanently grant us the potions. There's two tiers. Okay, potion rings. Now we can make one of these, that's not too difficult, but it doesn't tell us that much about this, does it? <laughs> Shapeless crafting. The Ender Star we can do because we've got Prismarine, we've got Nether Stars, we've got Dragon's Breath, and we've got Black Quartz. It can be obtained by both killing Wither and going to the end to collect the Dragon's Breath. Alright, you can't we can't do it in this pack with the Wither, so that's fine. So anyway, this thing is just about ready. As soon as that gets to the right level we should see the thing being in here which it is you can right click it try again huh it was a bit of a it doesn't look like it's working probably needed a few more seconds to get up to the levels yeah it did unfortunately I didn't bring the astral sorcery book with me so um, I'm not 100% sure how to what I have to do with this whether you can put it down there we go like this let me just, let's put this down somewhere see if it actually has any if it actually has any effects so we can't right click this um, and it was a block of iron which I don't have with me anyway so that's it for this episode I hope you've enjoyed it uh, and I'll see you next time when we're going to go off to the um, well, maybe I'll find, complete a few bits and pieces I've left open, and then we'll go off to the Twilight Forest. So until then, bye for now.